I'm Kelly Stickney, and now you're in the know. Right. Already the show goes on all night till uh. the morning we dream so long. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever wonder when they will see the sun? Just remember when you come up. Hello, Barrington High School, and welcome back to another episode of VHS TV. I'm Peter Chung. And I'm Ashka Sashdev. We hope you enjoyed our last show. If you have any suggestions for improvements or topics to cover, please visit 238TV.com to submit your ideas. This is your show, and we want to represent your interests and activities. One upcoming event that you might want to be aware of is Bronco Fest. It'll be from 5 to 7 p.m. tonight before the home football game. Are you going, Ashka? Of course. It's a great way to connect with new friends, promote school spirit, and this game is very special because we are recognizing our brave men and women who serve in the military. Let's go to Rollin' with Dolan with more information about tonight's event. Hello, Barrington High School, and welcome to this week's Rollin' with Dolan. This week on the show, we'd like to recognize some of our veterans in the community as Barrington hosts its first military appreciation football game. Now let's head out and talk to Mrs. Sanchez and learn more about tonight's festivities. Hello, Mrs. Sanchez. Uh, what are some activities going on for Military Appreciation Night tonight? Well, we're really excited. We're having about 200 military men and women coming to our game tonight, and we're really excited that they're going to be here with us at Barrington High School. Mm -hmm. um, they get free entry into the game, and they get um, some free food from the concession stand, oh. and uh, also a free t-shirt. So we're excited to have them. Okay, and uh, we also heard you're selling t-shirts to the student body. Would you like to say anything about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. We want our student body to be out there cheering loud for our Broncos. They're $5 camo t-shirts in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And uh, get your shirt and come on out and cheer on the Broncos and let's get a win. Sounds like a plan to me. Now talking with varsity stud offensive lineman Dan Volts. Dan, we heard the football team went to the Great Lakes Naval Academy this year. What effect did that have on you as a person and as a football player? Yeah, uh, Coach Sanchez and, and the other coaches at practice always emphasize commitment and responsibility and sacrifice uh, during practice and you know during games and stuff like that. So we got a chance to go up to the Great Lakes Naval Base and see what the men and women of our armed services have to commit to and sacrifice, you know, in their daily lives, and that's a hundred times more than what we have to go through. So it gave us a new perspective on that and just made us realize that we really don't give up that much compared to what you know the men and women in our armed services do. Well, thank you, Dan. And if you had to say one thing to the troops right now, what would it be? Uh, thank you for your service and God bless. Now I'm here with band director here at the high school, Mr. Karen. Mr. Karen, does the band have any patriotic plans for Friday night? Yes, we do. We are in our before our pregame, our normal pregame, we are playing a medley of Armed Forces songs from the five branches of the Armed Forces. And uh, we welcome all the military personnel to stand up when they hear their song and be applauded. Well, I'm sure the military will appreciate that and uh, thank you for all you're doing for tonight. Now I'm here with Mr. Johnson, Chief Warrant Officer from the United States Marines, who returned from his tour of duty in late April, right Mr. Johnson? That's correct. And do you have anything to say to the Barrington community for putting on this game tonight and all the appreciation they're showing towards the military? Well, I, I, I'm personally grateful for what the Barrington community is doing, for what Barrington High School is doing. This game means a lot to a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of veterans in the stands that span many of our wars, um, and I think it's important that what we're saying is that we, we've not forgotten about you. We appreciate the sacrifices that you've given to this country to make literally Barrington the kind of community that it is. And that's it for this week's Rolling with Dolan. Now come out Barrington High School and support your military, your school, and the football team. Let's get a victory this weekend. Looks like it's going to be an incredible night. In addition to the game, I'm really looking forward to hearing the band play the patriotic music. They always do an incredible job. And don't forget about the palms and cheerleaders. <laughs> Good luck with that one, Peter. We have so many talented students at our school and are very lucky to be part of BHS. Speaking of talented students, next up we have an interview with Stephanie Block, who is going to perform on NPR. Let's go down to Melissa with more details. 
Thank you, Ashika. Hi, I'm here with Stephanie, who this October will be playing on NPR Radio. Stephanie, can you tell us a little bit more about this honor? This show is called From the Top. The host name is Christopher O'Reilly. He's a fairly well-known pianist. He goes around the country and takes kids that are musically talented but also have a lot of other interests. Can you tell us a little bit more how you became interested in playing the viola? I started the violin when I was four, and when I was 13, my teacher thought I might like to play both because a lot of violinists do that just play the viola on the side usually. Um, but I picked up the viola and I became a lot more interested in it than I thought I would because of its deep tone and uniqueness. So I really, um, I really took a liking to it and decided I wanted to pursue viola instead. Um, I would definitely love to pursue a career with viola. I don't think I could imagine doing anything else. Um, hopefully I can go to music school after high school and become involved with music professionally, whether it's join an orchestra or do musical therapy. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I'm Melissa, and back to you in the studio. Nice job, Stephanie. That was music to our ears. To be a great musician, it takes patience, precision, and timing. Speaking of timing, do you know what time it is? No, what time is it? It's time to get you in, in the, the know. know. Good morning, BHS. It's Friday, September 2nd, and it's time to get you in the know. Bronco Fest is from 5 to 7 before this Friday's football game. There will be food, games, and other fun activities. All active and former military personnel are invited to attend the football game this Friday. They will get free admission by presenting their military ID. Camouflage t-shirts are available in the CAF for $5 on Friday, September 2nd. We would like to welcome back BHS alum and former NFL player with the Atlanta Falcons, Brady Smith, the newest addition to the freshman football coaching staff. Be sure to check out his NFL jersey that is displayed in the main gym lobby. The BHS choir is selling cookie dough and soup to support student travel experiences. See a choir student for details. Auditions for the fall drama, Shakespeare Sounds and Sweet Airs, will take place September 6th through the 9th. Sign up in the art gallery. Junior and senior girls order your Philly football t-shirts by September 12th. Pickup forms are outside the calf. Back to school night is September 15th. Monday is Labor Day, so enjoy your three-day weekend. I'm Kelly Stickney, and now you're in the know. Well, that's all for this week's show. I'm Peter. And I'm Ashika. Connecting you to your school. One Friday at a time. From all of us here at BHS TV. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend, Barrington. Barrington. Fingers out. You gotta take it in